What's up everybody, this is Alex Yu, how y'all doing? I'm doing great, thank you for asking. I'd like to just make a little bit of a vlog. This is my Canada vs China Kickboxing Championships post fight vlog. Because last Friday, November 25th, I saw the Canada vs China first annual Muay Thai Fighting Championship live at the River Rock and what an amazing experience. It's the first live event I've ever been to. I've never been to a live fighting event. I've always watched fights like UFC at home or at the sports bar or at friends houses but I've never watched it live and I've been a fight fan for probably like five years now some of my favorite fighters are the same uh, fighters that you like you know the, the fan favorites like Anderson Silva, George St. Pierre, Diego Sanchez I like Mike Swick and Lyoto Machida a lot of stand-up fighters who are well versed in grappling as well so I got invited to be a photographer at the live event by my friend Ryan Ventura who is also the color commentator so if you watch the fight at GFL.TV he was doing the color commentary along with Darcy McBride so I got invited by him and what an experience probably the second most exciting experience of my life so you're probably wondering what the first experience was well I can't really tell you what it is because actually I don't know what that is I can't remember anyways I really wanted to be there because I really wanted to see how team China would do against team Canada I've never followed a single kickboxing match because I've mainly been watching UFC but I think the number one thing I was expecting was to see a lot of kicks because I'm used to watching UFC and there's a lot of punches thrown some kicks here and there but a lot of its grappling before the fight started I was going around taking some photos Gene Simmons was there it was amazing for him to be there he brought a lot of energy into the crowd I got to take some photos with uh, the beautiful ring girls Christina and Pinky looking lovely as usual and once the fight started it was actually pretty interesting because team trying to actually had these bags with them these gift bags and I was wondering what they're for apparently they were presenting gifts team trying to brought gifts for their opponents because even although that this is a, a fight between two countries there is that show of mutual respect to your opponents so watching that was actually really interesting I, I guess it's a cultural thing anyways when I saw the first fight Adam Blanchett with Wan Yang Fei that really just set the bar like that really just showed me what this night is gonna be like and it was a whole level of excitement that I, I really can't explain it's been almost a week since the fight has passed by and I'm still pumped from it that's how much of an impact it made on me it was just so entertaining there's not a whole lot of waiting there's a lot of action then the next fight was with Li Hui and Jessica Gladstone and boy that girl took a beating Li Hui she really <laughs> Jessica Gladstone is a mean girl. When I was at the press conference, I did not see her smile once. And it just kind of uh, gave me an idea of what her character is going to be like in the ring. And she really brought it. Because Li Hui was just, boom! She was just destroyed. Uh, she couldn't even walk. In the second round, she just tried to stick in there for as long as she could. In between first and second round, I was watching her using my camera. I was zoomed in. I was looking at her eyes. And I was just thinking, this girl... <laughs> She's just thinking, okay, this noise. <laughs> I'm out of here. Jessica Gladstone was a strong opponent, but I have to still give it to Li Hui for having a lot of heart. She stuck in there for as long as she could. She even had this kick that threw Jessica Gladstone to the other side of the ring. It was pretty amazing, but the rest of the time Li Hui was cornered and she took a lot all the way to being TKO'd. So that was uh, quite a fight. After that, we had a 30 second knockout from Fu Gao Feng against Mitch Fowler. Only 30 seconds. Mitch Fowler threw a kick. Fu Gao Feng grabbed a hold of it, tried to do a leg sweep. That didn't work, so he just went bam, bam, bam. He was done. The crowd just went nuts. The, the energy was just crazy. Afterwards, we had uh, Nikki Sutieri versus Bai Jing, and I have to say that that was probably my favorite fight of the night because Bai Jing is a really animated, kind of like Japanese anime character looking girl because she's just jumping around pumping the fist in between rounds she just always has a smile on her face a very cheerful girl and you just can't see her as being a killer but she really brought the fight to Nikki Sutiri. That was an action-packed fight. A lot of knees, a lot of kicks came from Bai Jing, a lot of connected punches. I'd honestly believe that Bai Jing's fight against Nikki Sutiri was the fan favorite. I think everybody thought that was a crowd pleaser. So hats off to her. I even gave her a fist bump. <laughs> Another exciting fight was Nate Smandich against Xiao Ji. Boy, that was just something else. Nate Smandich was really, really anxious. I could see it in his eyes. This guy is ready to do this. Just 
really give it to him because he just couldn't wait. Like as soon as the the the, the referee went fight, he just, just rushed in there and he just brought it. It was a great fight. It was a really exciting fight, really action packed, and a lot of kicks. I saw a lot of uh, Superman punches from Nate Smandage, so that was really exciting. And last two fights, another six rounds of just pure action. Congratulations to all the Canadian fighters. Congratulations to Team China for bringing the action to Canada. Watching it on TV and watching it live is completely two different things. I watched it on TV a few days after watching it live and the things you don't get is the crowd, you don't get the, the, the smacking hits, the sound effects, and just being there watching it live is, like I said, completely different from watching it on TV. You really have to be there to experience it. I will definitely be there for the next one. One thing I like to point out is that I learned that the Canadians are trained in the Muay Thai discipline. So there's a lot of knees, a lot of knees, and I believe there are no knees to the head. You're not allowed to do that, but there are a lot of body knees, and that was their strength. A lot of clinches and a lot of knees, but on the other hand, Team China, they're not used to knees. They're, they're not, they're, they defend against knees, but they don't do a whole lot of them. What they do a lot of is, is takedowns, but I don't think takedowns are really scored. I'm not sure about that, don't quote me on that. A lot of takedowns, you're not allowed to throw, and you're not allowed to do two-legged takedowns. So that was very interesting because they did a lot of that, but it was mainly to weaken the opponent, not really to score points. I don't really know for a fact, but uh, they're not scored as much compared to a regular Sanda or Sancho competition in Shandong or the rest of China. So that was actually really interesting to see. You can see the different disciplines collide. Chao Yao Min, Team China captain, he was holding back on throwing elbows. The referee warned him quite a few times. You know he was about to spin, but I think right at that moment he realized he's not allowed to do that. So he held back on the elbows. And when you watch things like that, you notice that these two countries are trained very differently. All in all, it's still kickboxing and it was a lot of fun to watch. I was fortunate to have the opportunity to, to hang out a little bit with Team China after the fight. And I got to have dinner with Darcy McBride, Ryan Ventura, and also Ken Tran, who is one of Canada's kickboxers. I didn't know who he was at first, but then later on I, I checked out his YouTube account and I saw a lot of his highlights and I couldn't believe that I was having dinner with him. <laughs> So that was really cool. On the other side, we had Team China, and I really wanted to go talk to them, but I don't speak a word of Mandarin. I just let them eat in private. And on the other table, we had the, the government officials and Team China coaches, and, and Ken Lo was over there, and the other sponsors. And it was just a great opportunity. In fact, Darcy McBride was so happy about the entire event that he had to uh, eat his vegetables standing up. <laughs> all in all, wonderful event. I can't wait to see it again. And I just recommend that if you guys haven't seen it, watch it on GFL.TV, a video on demand. I, I kind of just spoiled everything for you guys who haven't watched it, but still, I'm just so excited about it that I just had to vlog about it. For the people who have not experienced a live kickboxing event, I hope that you can experience it like I did. And once again, congratulations to Team Canada for their win. Congratulations to Team China for fighting really well and coming to Canada. Thank you to Ken Lo for making this all happen. Thank you to everybody else who was involved. Ryan Ventura for inviting me. Darcy Bride for being an amazing host along with Lisa Wu who did a great job translating the coaches the fighters all the sponsors thank you very much for giving me an amazing exciting and positive experience anyways I uploaded like over 160 photos on my Facebook page Rage and Ronan Productions so check that out if you enjoyed this video subscribe follow me on Twitter Rage and Ronan Pro this is Alex and thanks for watching peace